few days ago, a violent free election pact was signed by all the presidential candidates to the effect that they should advise their supporters to desist from engaging in any form of violence during the forthcoming elections. Against this backdrop, some respondents said candidates across all the states should be alive to their responsibility by calling their supporters to order as a way of preventing violence during the elections. The respondents said it is the responsibility of politicians against inciting their supporters during campaigns as election is not a do or die affair. They also said the honors of preaching peace during the elections does not lie on the candidates alone as the traditional institution, religious bodies and parents also have a role to play in ensuring peaceful elections. There is need for political leaders and uh, candidates of political and political parties to preach peace at every forum. At the end of their gathering, they should be preaching peace and talking to their supporters that the election is not a do or die affair. The election is for all of us. We are brothers and sisters. We do not need to incur injury or uh, harm ourselves because we are conducting elections. We do not need to lose any soul. The peace pact is commendable because it demonstrates a desire for good faith. Otherwise, it would not have been necessary. Because first of all, we expect that if an election is free, fair and credible, the level of complaint and indeed sometimes adjudication at the law court reduces. There should be a campaign, a, a formal campaign from, uh, from state to state, you know, sensitizing people to uh, tell the candidate, to uh, tell their followers to advise their followers to show value that whoever they made should take it and the loser should take it with good faith. The 2015 general election is scheduled for 14th and 28th of February. Political watchers are optimistic that all stakeholders will play the game of politics according to the rules. A full Wangwe reporting.